Hi, my name is Yurit and I'm an interior designer and event planner based in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm going to talk to you today about some really fun, inexpensive, creative play settings that you can use year round. The first play setting has a zen feel and what we've done is we've paired everyday white dinner plates with an unexpected touch, the miso bowl that you've probably seen at many um, Japanese restaurants. I've then filled it with water and taken one rose and did what we call reflex on it. So I just cut it at the base, hold it in the palm of my hand, take your thumb because it's fleshy and big, and just slowly move the petals back. That first petal is going to be tricky and you just kind of keep nurturing it until it gets velvet. I don't know why the first petal is always tricky, but we just keep pushing it back. And what it does is it makes a flower look so much bigger. It gives you the feeling of a garden rose. It looks lush. Um, and it's also a way to extend if you have roses in your house and they're not looking so fresh. It's a great way to give them a couple more days. You can also use this technique in a flower arrangement. You don't need to just do it for a floating flower. And there you go, the floating rose. What's nice about this is your guest gets an unexpected touch, a little gift as they sit down, and you can save some money because you don't need flowers all over the table because you have a pop at each place setting. When I pick my napkins, I really try to feel them and see what has a great touch because I think food in general is very sensual and it's about the aromas, and I think your place settings can do the same thing. So here, even the placemat has a bit of a texture to it. You can work your dinner to have some of those elements as well. We've paired this also with some vintage glassware because I think that the lines work really nicely with the lines of the flower and the delicate nature of the petals. Another play setting you can do is also more of an adult um, gear play setting and what I've done here is we've wrapped um, a box that mimics the decor of the house and we've added little gifts in it. You can do all sorts of gifts because I think everybody likes to get a gift. You can do recycled rubber bracelets you can do little chocolate balls, or if you don't want to do something materialistic and it's more about a feeling or you're celebrating um, a holiday, for instance, or some honoring somebody, you can get these great printed cards with a nice word on it, and you just bend them, put them in your box, close the box, and then when the guest sits down, they can open it and they see this nice surprise of the word kindness. It kind of helps as an icebreaker and um, can start conversation. I wanted the box to be propped up, so you'll notice that what I did is I took my napkin, I folded it in quarters, and then I rolled it, so I created a little pillow. Now a little tip when you're using napkins or boxes, people don't want to be unwrapping tons of stuff, so we've made this a really easy ribbon to just kind of pull apart, that you're not struggling with it. And it also trails nicely. Um, again, it's really the basic white dinner plates that many of us have in our home, so they're really easy and inexpensive. But we've added a really fun fork that has um, a great dark detail, which I think looks great with our box and our linen napkins. And they're very delicate, so they're really cool when you're holding them. You can kind of feel the balance. Whenever you're looking for flatware, you should really kind of hold in your hand because you might like a heavier weight or a lighter weight. Keeping with these thinner lines, I've actually mixed and matched my wine and water in this place setting. I don't think it all needs to match, and very few of us have enough items in our ho house to seat 12. So you can take a fun water glass, mix it with a really cool um, wine glass, and it creates a really interesting setting. When I'm thinking about kids, I try to simplify it because too many utensils are really scary for adults, and when you're under 15, it's really frightening. So just make it simple. You do your fork, your knife, your spoon. I also like to be kind of I love using a straw and I think kids do too. So here, I've actually taken a straw and put it on top of their little box, which has a little activity for them because it's hard for kids to sit through a big meal all the time. And they can then put it in their glass and use it. And I also used um, an ice cream dish, which is an unexpected cup. When you open up this box, and here I've put the name on the side so you could see it, that activity pops up and the kid gets a couple of crayons and their placemat is actually a piece of construction paper. 
and they can draw. And I've actually, if you've noticed, kind of tucked the plates up a little bit higher so the kid could write their name on it or they can draw the little pictures and it keeps them busy, which is really kind of fun. Also for children, if it's a special event, if it's the holidays, if you're having a party, um, it's kind of nice to give them a little, you can do a gift, or here, if it was a holiday season, you can do a little ornament that they can take home with them. And place cards are really fun, but an unexpected place card, which you can do for both adults or children, is you can write your guest a note. And here we wrote a guest, um, our friend Joey, little note that we were happy he was coming to dinner and we were really excited to go skiing with him. It's really nice to get a note before you sit down for dinner. It's, again, it just starts that conversation, loosens everything up. And also for kids, I just do the wine glass. Um, here I made it feel like a wine glass because I think kids like to sometimes act like a grown-up. And we've just highlighted the pink. But again, those basic plates, fun napkin, and just those inexpensive, unexpected touches. Let's say you have a table that has a great finish, like this one, so it has already a lot of character. You're not going to want to cover that with a tablecloth. So what I've done here is I've taken actually a table runner and I've used it the short way. So you get a base for your place setting, but you're not covering the texture. I've then added a cork placemat that's round, which almost gives this rustic feel, a slightly more modern edge to it. Again, feels great on your hand. And my favorite part of this place setting is actually I've used plates that aren't my favorite, but I've made them more fun because I've added elements that highlight them. So I've found this great napkin that has a great pattern that I think just kind of encompasses all the feel and texture. And I just place it on the side. And then I have this his phenomenal, really, it's like the most beautiful pumpkin I've ever seen, pumpkin. And I've just put my guest's name and I've used a little piece of tape. Also with the natural theme, we have the wood handles on our flatware, so it feels great. And um, really unexpected, I use jelly jars. Um, for, as my wine and water glass. Really inexpensive, you can get enough for all your guests and work well with this theme. If you also, you can also use a pumpkin, like I did here, but with a slightly different twist for your um, place setting card. With a little grow grain ribbon, I cut the piece of paper a little bit smaller because I didn't like the proportion because this pumpkin is so small, and just tacked it in there with a little pin. Or you can make a little nest out of a napkin uh, that you just tie and you place your pumpkin, you know, nestled um, on the napkin. Another way you can get your place card or use vegetables or fruit if pumpkins aren't in season is an artichoke. And what we've done here is we've written our guest's name on the side of the card and just tucked it in and that artichoke holds it in place for us. When I'm doing this, the difference between these two place settings is here because this artichoke is so much larger, I actually have my napkin underneath my salad plate where here I've got the napkin kind of covering the salad plate. So both to your decision, whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. Um, and then lastly, another napkin idea that you can do, because I'm a big fan of um, almost restaurant towels, is you take a large restaurant towel, you um, fold it up into a smaller, into a smaller size, a piece of twine, inexpensive, easy. Take some of the herbs that you've maybe used in your meal, Put it right on the napkin, tuck it in so you have that flavor infused. And what's great is, especially in the warm months, because the heat, the smell starts to, um, you can almost smell it when you sit down, which feels really nice. And then your guests have a little bit of a, you know, precursor to what they're going to be eating for dinner. So thanks for joining me today. I hope these ideas were fun, easy to use, easy to do. Make it your own.